Now that we've gone through and built a minimal ASP.NET Core application using SignalR, let's dive a bit deeper into server hubs by adding functionality through the Hub API. I'm back in the Message Hub class that we created in the basic application demo. This class extends the Hub Abstract class that's provided by SignalR. If we take a peek at its definition, we can see there are a few virtual methods we can override. In particular, there's the onConnected async and onDisconnected async. I've overridden these in our base class, and we're not doing anything with it yet, but you can see how this may be useful for knowing when a connection is made or when a connection is terminated. When looking at the hub abstract class again, there's also a property called clients. Let's explore that a little bit more. When I was creating the demo application, you can see that I specified clients.all. And as you'd expect, this is going to invoke the methods for all of the connected clients. So when you see the demo of the browser, no matter how many browsers or tabs I opened, anytime I sent a message, they were all receiving it. But we can actually send specifically a message to groups or the individual caller itself. I'm going to create a new method called send message to caller. What this method is going to do is simply send the message back to who initiated the, the request coming into the hub rather than all of the clients. And we can do that by calling clients.caller and then continue on as send async and we'll send the exact same message down or receive message in our message variable. All right, so we're going to jump over to the front end now. And in our CSHTML file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a select, like a drop down list here, that's going to have initially just two options, and we'll call it group. We're going to have an option that is going to be so that we will specify who we want to send the message to. So we're going to create one called all, that's going to be for everyone. And then I'm going to have another option right now that is just to myself. And this option we're going to use for just sending to the caller. All right, so now we can jump over to our JavaScript file. So we're going to open the message.js, and I'm going to fetch out these values here. So we'll create a new variable here called group element, which we will get out the select list. We call the group, and then we can get out its actual value by using that element and looking at the options, the selected index. So we'll get that out here. Selected index. And now what I can do is set a default value of what method we want to call. So I'm just going to by default do the send message to all. And then we'll check to see if the group is actually set to myself. If it is, then we'll change method to be send message to caller, which is the new method we created in our hub. And now I can replace this with our method. And that should be it. Actually, I just realized that I have one change. Actually, I typo here. We should call this group value. All right, perfect. All right, so let's fire this up and give it a test in our browsers. So I'm just going to start debugging, and this should automatically open Chrome for me. All right, there it goes. So what I'm going to do here is we'll duplicate this tab so we can put this side by side so we can see two windows open together. And I will send a message from one tab, which we should see immediately in both windows, which we do. I'll do it from the other tab, and we can see it in both windows. What I'll do now is I'll actually just send a message to myself in the left tab, which we will only see it appear in the left tab. And then subsequently the same thing on the right side. We only see it if I send it to myself there. So what we have now is we've shown the ability to send to all connected clients messages as well as the individual caller 